If you guys ever done a beer can chicken, let me tell you, what you gotta try on Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any day of the year, you gotta try a trash can turkey. It's bigger, it's wider, it's hotter, it's better, it is yummy. Hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like uh, thingamajigger, the ring the little bell, ding, ding, ding. There's a storm rolling in. It's rolling fast, it's rolling in cold, it's gonna be wet. But the first thing we gotta do if we wanna get this turkey right is get this galvanization off this new trash can. Let me tell you what we're going to do though in a nutshell. In a nutshell, you, I got a wooden stake in the ground here and the turkey's going to sit on it. And then we put charcoal around the, the garbage can and we put charcoal on top. So it's actually, it's just a Dutch oven is what it is. All right, Juan Diaz, this one, this uh, trash can chicken's for you, my friend. Next one, uh, next one we do together, I'll come up to your neck of the woods and we'll do a cook. It's pretty crispy on the outside. Or pretty dry. <laughs> hey, good afternoon, guys. Rico here, Rico's place. Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, I'm doing something a little new here today. We've smoked the turkey, we fried the turkey, we baked the turkey. Today, what we're gonna try and. Juan Diaz, one of my friends, uh, lives lives up north a little bit, I think. He uh, he keeps telling me to do a trash can chicken, so I did some video uh, searching and research and and googling, and he sent me a little video, and so I'm going to do a trash can chicken. Now we have a storm that's been running in and out. It was cold last night. It's kind of chilly today. I was getting all ready to put the thing on. We started getting some big big droplets, so I had to put the turkey away. So I think we're gonna. I'm just gonna bet that we're gonna miss the rain, even though it looks pretty scary. I may end up after finishing this in the oven, I don't know. But let's uh let's just get to it. So we <laughs> when it started raining. We had to hit the we had to hide the turkey in the old uh, Oklahoma Joe back there. That should keep it from flopping up. One thing, uh, all the videos I watched after they put the foil on it. They put a bunch of foil there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a little soup can lid. And that's just going to help the turkey from sliding down. There we go. So he's on there, and what I did is I took some mayonnaise, and I put salt, pepper, garlic, parsley, paprika in it, and we're just going to re-rub him down again. Stop. Stray cat, get out. No, get out. No. Get. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Put a little bit of this on it. And we'll just throw a little bit of paprika on the bird. This on, according to the videos. I 
may have to put a little more. I may have to. All right. So I normally don't use lighter fluid, but this isn't. I've used it before. I just I always use a coal starter. But we want all this charcoal to start at the same time. So I'm just going to just kind of give it a little whizzy whizzy here. We'll probably have to add a little more. Now they say about nine minutes a pound. And all the videos say two hours, two hours. Well, 16 pound turkey by nine is like, I think 2.4 hours maybe or something like that. Not sure how this wind is going to uh, affect the cook. There you go, guys. We'll see if this works. Uh, I'm not even going to check this thing. Oh, yeah. Just felt a raindrop. Some rain cloud. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We'll have to see. Like I said, I may have to go put this into the uh, into the into the kitchen oven. Maybe I don't want to, but I may have to. So you can see the charcoal's all gray and and just burning hot right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little research. I don't think I have to add any charcoal to it, but I will uh, I'll look and see if I do. Maybe I'll just throw some on for the heck of it. You can hear Odie and Daisy over there wanting to come out. Trinity! Trin Trin! Got a little tiny little black poodle running around here somewhere. Coyotes did. Yeah, there she be. Trin, Trin, Trin. Hey, Trin, Trin. What's Trinity? I don't know if you guys can see her or not, but... Trinity, what you doing? It's looking good. Um, I'm thinking this is... I'm going to go... Uh... I'll probably open up another thing of charcoal. I think i got a half a bag of charcoal that I'll just periodically throw some on there. I won't show you do me doing that, but just... Uh... To make sure because it's a cold day so it might be windy so it may not last as long we'll see might be an epic fail might be perfect okay guys I'm not sure if you can see me or not I uh, it's almost 530 I, I was watching the 49er game and I fell asleep and so this thing's been on almost under in the in the trash can almost three hours uh, let me get a flashlight and we will see what we can see. That ain't better. I'm not real sure if you got, guys can see this or not. Um, but you can still feel, I mean, like, it's not real hot anymore, the coals. But it still is hot. Um, I don't know. Let's... Uh, Let's take this thing off and see what this bird looks like underneath. Hope it turned out. I think this would be a better, 
but when it wasn't raining, the wind blowing, and earlier in the day would have been a better project. But let's take a look at this and see what's going on. But let's take this off slowly. What the? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, not good. Not good. <laughs> not good at all. It, uh, Oops. Hopefully we... This is not good. But I... Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, so that's not real good, as you can see in the other picture. Um, it's done. It's fallen off the bone. It actually fell through the stake. We got some of the uh, sage and all of that stuff right there um <laughs> yeah i don't even know if we're gonna have any for a sandwich all right let me uh let me figure this out i can hear the coyotes howling and uh take this inside and see if I can do this without falling into the ashes. Woo, that's kind of hot. All right, we'll let this rest a little bit and then we'll come in and tear into it a little bit and see if this was a, uh, well, it was a fail only because I fell asleep, but I think if I would have checked it on its two hour mark, like I was supposed to, I think it would have been just almost perfect. Now the one, there's loads. Okay, this, this has been a learning experience because I put the stake through the, the metal, the tin pan, the metal pan, the aluminum foil pan. So now any fluids or liquids that are sitting here are coming through to here. So I didn't think that one out too much. Well, then again, I thought I was going to be lifting the, the whole turkey off. Okay, so our turkey leg, I mean, this just falls off the bone. So the dark meat's okay. I'm gonna make a good sandwich. this oh this is the other leg this is the other leg and thigh so if you're somebody that doesn't like dark meat you would not be eating tonight because the dark meat's pretty good not pretty good it's the uh It's the breast that I thought, I haven't even found the wings yet. It's the breast that's going to be, well, this would actually, if I wanted to, well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The breast is going to be dry. That I, that I know. No bueno. Now the skin got really crispy. Actually, it's not really dry. So I'll get uh, I'll get some sandwiches out of this, and uh, maybe some turkey enchiladas. 
turkey taco. Guys might be able to hear in the background Daisy had is having puppies right now so after I finish this then I will uh, be up tonight with her while she has her puppies. And then we'll make we'll show you go we'll show you those we'll show you those tomorrow. This turned out for the first one not knowing what I was doing on it and falling asleep. This actually turned out pretty good. Um, I'd do it again. Well, I will do it again. Earlier in the morning, and got quite a bit of meat off this bird. Pretty good. So I'll do it again. Pretty good. And watch the time and all of that stuff on it. But it's a success. Easy to do. Anyone can do it. I think that trash can was 25 bucks, 30 bucks or whatever. Oh, uh, probably cost me 50 bucks to cook it because of the charcoal price, that kind of thing. But really, there's no mess um, if you do it right, if you do it on the right time. Take that thing off, take it right in, let it rest, and uh, slice it up for dinner. I'm filthy dirty. I got charcoal all over me. I need to take a shower. Um, I can just sit here and eat these little tidbits. But I would recommend I'd recommend this definitely. But that's it. That's all I got for you tonight. I'm gonna clean this up and then make me a turkey sandwich for dinner. As usual, guys, this is Rico the Tie Dye Cowboy, wishing you and your family well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Saludes, my friends.